so right now I'm waiting for Tomi to get off work and we'll be heading over to the rental car place <laughs> So our goal with this trip is to visit as many different parts of Gunma as possible, so we thought the best option would be to rent a car. Public transportation would have been cheaper, but access to some of the rural parts are not as good as you might think. And having a car gives us the freedom and also helps us save time during our trip. For 4-5 to five days, the rental car was about 45,000 yen and including highway and gasoline fees, this came out to about 55,000. Taking a Shinkansen would have been 10,000 per person going round trip, so for us, it would have been 20,000 in total. <laughs> We're finally in the rental car and oh my god, it's so hot outside. <laughs> It's like 34 degrees, I think. Mm. And plus, we were carrying like so much luggage. It says it's 37 degrees outside. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. So, for the next four or five days, we'll be going to all these different parts of Gunma. And Gunma is actually really known for its onsens and natures. But a lot of foreigners don't really know about that. So, we'll be bringing you along to like the popular places as well as the places that aren't as well known. So if you want to follow us along, make sure to subscribe. We got everything we need right here. <laughs> so we're gonna do a quick room tour before we head out. Going inside. Hello. Oh, thank you, thank you. Wow, Telebi Marashi, Denchi Denji Marashi. Massage chair. This is where we'll be staying for the next three days. Yay! Yeah! 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the place we're staying at is called the Yard R9. It's like a huge chain hotel located in various parts of Gunma. And the one here in Isesaki actually opened on July 26, 2020. So it hasn't even been like two weeks since it's open. And as you can see from the outside, the rooms are made from storage containers. And each room is quite nicely sized. It's usually meant for one or two people, not like really groups or anything. And everything here is really like very independent. Like if you go to the main desk area, you can just freely walk inside and grab your own bath towels, toothbrush, coffee, free breakfast. Oh, Let's go. So we're just gonna leave our stuff and run back out to get some practice on our drone before the sun sets. And then we're gonna go eat some dinner at a place we reserved, so yeah. River near our hotel, and we just want to get some practice with the drone because we want to use it to get a lot of good shots during this trip. So, yeah, we'll see how this goes. We only have about 20 minutes, so yeah. We got everything we need right は、
関東平野が開ける内陸県だそうです。あとは、なんかあの、地形が鶴、鶴舞う形の群馬県、なんか鶴尾が羽を広げたみたいな形に似てるそうです。似てますね、確かに。縄文カルタっていうカルタがあるらしくて、それがなんか結構群馬県を表してるなんかその形だったり地形だったりあとはなんか自然のこととか出るみたいなのでなんかそれも気になってきたあとはねああと群馬といったら群馬ちゃんかな<笑>なんかめっちゃサンリオっぽくないですかなんかずるい<笑>ずるい<笑>今夜は高崎駅前にあるチェジュ屋っていう焼肉屋さんで晩ご飯なんですけどそこのチェジュタンがまあ美味しいチェジュタンだから牛タンなんだけどだからネギがもりもり乗ってて美味しい<笑>また詳しく紹介するのでちょっと見てください<笑>何が好きですか焼肉焼肉焼肉が大好き<笑>左です焼肉焼肉油が大好き<笑>何も怖くないだって美味しいもん少しも太らないわ<笑>わーすごいね<笑>ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ We'll see if it's worth the hype. <laughs> oh, so that's it. Oh, so that's it. It tastes like a really juicy steak with green onion all over it. Okay, I'm going to eat it. No, no, no. Do you want to try it? We're making one last stop at the Gunma supermarket. Belk. Yeah, it kind of looks like Ralph's in America. It's like really big, has a lot of, I don't know, windows. So we're here because Tomomi wants to buy like a special dressing that you can only get here. And it's like a garlic flavor, you say?、Mm. Garlic flavor, but there's no garlic in it. I don't know what she's talking about, but <laughs> we'll see if it's here. What's your name? Josephine. Josephine. So it's called Josephine. Look at all these Japanese dressings. Without an egg, there's an egg. So we couldn't find the dressing, but it's okay. We can try. We have four more days.、Okay. So we just got a couple of waters and coffee for the hotel room, and yeah, we are going back. We have arrived back at the hotel. Ah, okay. <laughs> so we forgot to turn out the AC when we left.、Oh. <laughs> and we set it at the lowest temperature. Juroku? <laughs> Juroku. <laughs> <laughs> so that's 16 degrees. It's like. It's like. 
It looks like we stole everything. <laughs> We're back at our hotel and that is pretty much the end of day one. So uh. our first impressions of Gunma so far. <laughs> Being in Japan, you're used to like really like calm drivers who don't even honk and stuff. But the drivers here, they really like speed and like try to run red lights and stuff. It's pretty crazy. So my first impression is the plants here are greener. So you know that saying, the grass is always greener on the other side. Well, it's definitely greener in Gunma. So yeah, that was our first impression so far. Um, we're gonna close up for today because we have a pretty early day tomorrow. So if you want to follow us on our adventure, make sure to subscribe. And if you've ever been to Gunma before, let us know in the comments below what you thought was good and what you thought was bad. Peace and good night. Yakinik! Yakinik! Yakinik ga daisuki!